I was graduated from communications with a major in public speaking. So I learned some good theories related to communications. But what makes it interesting is that the Bible also have some theories related with communications. And I'm going to share one of them with you today. There is this one idea that I learned. Positive words, powerful result. It looks simple, but isn't it challenging to just implement that? Why? We grew up listening to harsh judgment, critics, gossips, um, body shaming, destructive comments, sarcastic jokes, or unimportant blah blah blah. If we are not careful, what comes in becomes what comes out from us. Because we think those are normal, isn't it? And then we begin to treat others the same way, intentionally or unintentionally. I still remember someone told me, I know you can do this, babe, because God is in you. And then suddenly I feel like I have superpower to do that difficult task. But there is also a moment when there is this one random auntie at the gym stop in front of me. I don't know her. And then she said this thing. Ew, look at your face. Look at your skin. You're so ugly. And then she left. You may say, Biasalah, babe. Orang nyinyir. Gak usah didengerin. But I end up hating myself that day. The enemy has successfully implement insecurities in me. How destructive a sentence can be. Meanwhile, we may think that then the listener should be very good at filtering. Yes, I do agree with that. But today, I want all of us to learn to be a better person in communicate things. We do responsible for what we say because we can manage what and how are we going to say words from our mouths? I learned it the hard way. I say things I wish I didn't say it back then. But I thank God that He is not done yet with me and He's not done yet with you. So let's learn together. What kind of words you're speaking and how should we as a Christian communicate? In Ephesians 4.29 it says, let no corrupting talk come out of our mouths, but only such as is good for building up, as fits the occasions, that it may give grace to those who hear. Or the other version from the message, Watch the way you talk. Let nothing foul or dirty come out of your mouth. Say only what helps, each word a gift. Even you feel like you are okay when someone says, those words to you, it doesn't mean that you have permission to say that to others. The Bible said, let nothing foul or dirty come out of your mouth. Say things that may give grace to those who hear. You know, that is good for building up, just like giving others a gift. Well, you don't know what others have been through that day. They may have difficult job to do. They may have problems. They may have difficult situations. Isn't it nice if they listen to the words that full of grace? May we be ever mindful that our words might impact those to whom we speak. Let's use our speech for godly purpose. Think twice before we say negative statement. Instead, find a way to pass along an encouraging word to others today. If you are not in a good condition to say nice words, you are allowed to just be quiet. Yes, the best is to let your word to be a gift. So not giving gift is okay, rather than give others something foul or dirty. Whether we are speaking face to face, or through the phone or using our digital tongue in making comment or you know leave text messages remember this that our words are powerful and they have consequences so let us be a Christian that use our words to instill hope wholeness and courage to others be blessed and be nice